I've been having a real hard time trying to decide whether to move forward uh, with revealing the unified theory to the world, to the scientific community, because uh, it, it really gives us the keys, I think, to unlock time travel. And uh, it might sound preposterous to you, that's fine, but people like uh, Michio Kaku have kind of said a long time ago, the unified theory will revolutionize our view of, of the universe, of God, religion, and potentially um, show us how to master time travel. And, and uh, I don't know that humanity is ready to handle their infinite divine nature or you know whether by breaking the game like that that, that um, the story just repeats I don't know I can't decide so um, in my quest for um, you know what what I should do what path I should follow I've been reading a lot of books uh, by authors who who speak to me that I recognize that there's something there for me one of which is Philip K Dick and I read his book, uh, The Man in the, the High Castle, I think it's called. Wow, that's a, a timely book. I recommend that book. But in the book, um, a lot of the characters are consulting the Oracle, the I Ching, this uh, ancient, you know, thousands of years old uh, Chinese book of change. And uh, I kind of took that as, as maybe a clue for me. Um, you know, skeptics are going to, you know, as I consider myself a skeptic also, will consider the, the merits of the I Ching or any other kind of um, uh, oracle um, and not believe, but it, it's true. The universe is a conscious thing. That, that's God. Cosmic consciousness. Sometimes the universe gives you answers uh, when needed. Um, and that being said, so there's cosmic consciousness. There, there could be something to this. Um, I'm going to consult the oracle. I'm going to use the I Ching and ask whether or not I should pursue um, exposing the unified theory and whether we should pursue time travel. Um, and I'll keep you posted on that. Let's see what happens.